literally have to open. This is my new tracksuit. You have to pay extra for this. I've been doing it all wrong. What am I doing? <laughs> That's my new scrunchie wall. Literally all gear and no idea. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Stella and I hair make scrunchies and bows and I've been doing so for eight years now. I am expanding into this room. I said that in a previous vlog. Already this room was used for a few things. Mostly storage for a lot of my big boxes. I also have like a clothes rack in here. You know, it's just that room. But yeah, so I've gone to Ikea already. I've uh, purchased heap of things. I'll go show you those in a minute. And as for this room, here's a quick little tour. <laughs> it's full of stuff. So, all of the new fabrics. We have a new Cricut over there, which is which will be a future video. Um, new Mun Bin, also going to be another future video. Um, we've got heaps of other boxes. We have the clothes rack. So my vision for this room is having a scrunchy wall and then also having either a fabric wall or like a, another wall that has maybe all the stuff that's in the other room and just having that down one wall. I feel like it's actually much better lighting in the other room uh, now that I'm in here. So I did do a very similar video at the start of the year, which was me moving into this room. It'll be a very similar concept for this video, except I'll be doing it inside because even though it does look really sunny outside, it's freezing. It is so cold. So yeah, we've got the heater on and I'm going to be doing it in the lounge room, just making everything. I bought like these things, I don't know how they're going to go, they're, they're weird looking. I thought I could maybe stack them on top of each other, but I'm not really sure right now what I'm going to do with them. But you'll see what I mean once I build them. So I'm actually thinking about getting rid of all of this and moving it into the other room because it's all like ugly. <laughs> I'm going to move that back to give me more space. Maybe I was going to keep one in here. Fabric storage, put another table here for the serger, I mean the... Whatever that is. What is it? An overlocker, which I haven't opened yet. <laughs> Still haven't opened it. But I was thinking about putting that here. Oh, yeah. And I was going to move all these, these things here, into the other room too. And then I was going to put floating shelves. And then I was going to put maybe maybe the mun bin. I oh, know, packaging stuff, you know? So this will be my packaging area because this is already my packaging area. So that's all my stuff down there. But at least then it won't have to be in a box. Okay, so I've got three of these things and then I got those over there. This is my work area right here because <laughs> it's freezing. I don't know if Flo will come and she probably will as soon as I get on the ground. That's all her toys. She loves her stitch. I got a heap of Ganetti. I have a Billy underneath the arm. So I have a couple of poles. My thoughts were I was going to stack them on top of each other because the shelving is actually smaller than like Billy and stuff. I wanted to get half the Billy size, but they were out of stock. So... This is uh, what I've got. I've got the essentials on and Flo is running. Is she going to knock the camera? No, she did not. She did not knock the camera. What are you doing? How did I open these last time? I think it's a screwdriver or something. I think I saw one of those somewhere. Oh, this is really hard to open. Why is this so hard to open? I swear this the glue is like thicker or something. I feel like scratching the inside of it so badly. And I know I can like slip it out, but I wanted to use the cardboard so I don't scratch the tiles. I don't want to be like moving around like this all the time. So I don't want anything to happen to the tiles. So I wanted to have the cardboard down as a protective layer. My goodness. That was absolute pain to do.
chuck that right in the hole. I just chucked it in the wrong hole. You know it's not going to come out. So currently I've got three of these stacked on each other. From the front, it's not even because like it has those little lips here. I probably could have made it even if we cut those off, but who has time for that? I don't know. <laughs> we'll make it work. But yeah, it's the same sort of sizing as this, but in this form. Green is because the our clearance, I would have bought them all green because uh, obviously it's at the back, but they didn't have any more left, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, so that's what that looks like now. We just used what it came with, these things, because I think it's meant to be for a desk. They like go on the top of the desk. So we just use that to sort of drill it all together. Obviously it's not perfect. It will come apart from here, but I've just like sticky taped them. And I'm gonna drill it into the wall, but I'm not ready yet, because I'm still sort of moving things around. So I'll do these. I sort of want to get more of the Gennettis. Um, as for this side, that's currently all I've got in. Okay, so far, I sort of think I want another five of these. I think I'm gonna have to re-roll them. They're very um, uneven. <laughs> the fabric that I'm about to put in here, I will probably end up moving it into the other room. Currently, I'm gonna put that one here and then I'm going to try and move the printers, the stuff that's behind my sewing machine out. I don't like those cupboards behind there. I much prefer to have nothing. I'm just going to fold up these. Uh, a lot of them are pretty, like they're folded pretty well. Just that linen or the fake linen one was not, it's like all floppy. And some of them are like really wonky. They're like this one, because it's like all floppy. I'll have to remove that. I've been like trying to look at prints, not just for scrunchies. Like um, I'm trying to find prints that I would want to wear. I'm trying to do like the YouTube making thing that I was planning on doing. If you've watched some of my other videos, I was planning on filming videos of me making clothes, not to sell or anything, but
I'm really running out of motivation real quick. <laughs> a little shelf here. I'll probably put the short ones on there. But I have to clean up out there because out there is a mess. And then I have to clean up the actual craft room because I've actually got someone coming to film tomorrow. Because I've been nominated for the business awards in Gippsland, they are coming to film or someone's coming to film. Me, which is a bugger because I have to wear makeup. <laughs> I hate it. But I only put, I put some makeup on today. It's just like mascara and like, I used to wear it all the time. Now I like hate wearing it. So I put these in here now. So now it's ugly. I will really, really, really be likely to be moving these into the other room. I just need to make room. For now, I'm going to put all these in because that seems like an easy job because the rest seems hard and I only have tonight to do it because the film crew is coming tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just do the easy job first. So I'll have to move all these somewhere. Look at that, it's not such an eyesore anymore. I could be like filming like this. Be in my chair. I just realized that the jukey can go up higher. I think I'm gonna make the jukey higher because then I can fit that thing underneath. Huh. I'm gonna have to get a different light for in here. <laughs> Oh, I hate the yellowy lights. Bruce changed more when he first moved in because he hates white light. So all my rooms have like the the white lights in them. But yeah, out there, like even that's like the warm light. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, anyway, I bought these. The original plan was to have them in here, actually. Like they don't fit, obviously, but not too bad. So I'm going to do that. I could probably um, actually turn this into like a hair claw one. So that would be pretty cool to have like in hair claws in there. Definitely hit this as a scrunchy wall. So I have quite a few of these and I have lids too. You have to pay extra for the lids. I thought that was so ridiculous. I thought like, oh, it's a box. It will be included. No, I was wrong. You have to pay extra money for the lids. I think the boxes themselves are like 350 and the lids are a dollar each. That's just my thoughts for that one. Over here, um, I'm just busy putting these in. Do they look uneven to you or do they look even? I don't know. They should be even. I counted them out correctly. The ones in my room are counted wrong. One's like got... One has nine holes, eight holes, and seven holes. <laughs> so it's like really off. Okay, I'm gonna maybe put the rest of these tubs in and see how many I'm left over with. This is the code in case anyone's interested. It's some... Sam, Samla, 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 Samla. Oh, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. They're so easy to rip off. I'd hate if like they were the real sticky type. They get stuck. Oh, they're the worst. They're nice and sturdy though. Like that. Look at that. You can't even bend that. Super sturdy. Good boxes. Ah, uh, but they don't clip on either. That's probably the only thing. They don't have a function to clip. I just realized that Cinnamon Toast Can was playing in the background of that the whole time. So if you hear random noises, that's him. <laughs> okay, the lighting in here is horrible. I'm going to go get some lights, I reckon, very soon. Because I think we're going to go get dinner. Because there's nothing in the fridge. Anyway, currently this is what this looks like. Hang on, flip you around. Um, this lighting is so bad. I'm going to put hair claws in these. And I, that fits perfectly there, so... I mean... <laughs> Uh, then with these, uh, obviously I want to get a couple more to put here. Tomorrow I think I'm going to like take them all out and like make it full. So then the cameraman wants to film in here. Yeah, it'll, it'll look full because currently, like I know it, there's gaps, but there's scrunchies behind. Okay, there won't be enough to fill it, <laughs> but maybe if I like really try hard, I might be able to like, yeah make it look a bit fuller than this so my overlocker i just put that in here i don't actually have a table for it or anything i'm thinking i might just use it how i used to use my other sewing machines just move it when i want to use it so i got like my bean bag in here this is the room it used to hang out in anyway 
Um, I have lights there, all for sponsor videos. Um, so I need to go through all that and film. Um, all of that is my apparel. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot still there. Okay, now I'm walking down the hallway. Look, all of the boxes are gone. That's so good. Haha. -ha. I don't know, I like it. It's just like nice. <laughs> it's not cluttered over here anymore. So yeah, I'm I'm really loving this. I, oh yeah, and I did all this. <laughs> I color coded. Could possibly get one of those tables that move up and down. I was thinking about getting an iMac or is that what they're called? I don't know. Like a desktop one though. Um, a computer. So tired. I don't even know why. I did barely. I feel like I didn't even do anything today. Like I barely did anything. Like, I know that like, obviously we did. I did do a lot of things, but I. I, I not compared to like the day that I moved all this in. This was this was a mammoth challenge. Good morning everyone. So I had a look online for IKEA and it says that these shelves aren't in stock. They're expecting them to maybe be in stock next week, but Reese flies out next week. So I don't know if I'll be able to get them for a couple weeks. It's delivery is three hundred dollars. It's actually it will cost more to get delivered than the actual products themselves. So Chef's kiss. But I thought I'd film myself rearranging all this to make it look like it's full. What we're doing? I was going down, whereas the other ones were going across. Wow. Mm, whoopsie days. Okay, let's try again. This is not looking good. I've got quite a few more rows to go. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I mean, I made it look more fuller because <laughs> that's pretty much where it ended last time because all that was empty. Maybe like one more row. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get right now. I do have market scrunchies, but that means I have to like take them out and then just put them back in. Hi guys, I'm back. I bought, what did I buy? I bought a workstation from Spotlight. Don't know how, how it's gonna go. It literally took, I couldn't even lift it. Uh, we had to get someone with the pallet jack to bring it out to my car. It was so heavy. Anyway, it's in here now. I'm staring at it. So this is what I got. The reason I got this was because it was on sale. I got it for like $160. It has like a pull-out thing for the Cricut and I wanted that. It's annoying having to move the Cricut from the shelves. So that was my thoughts behind that. And also, <laughs> over in this corner, that is my laptop right there. And I've been sitting down here and like doing stuff for the printers. So I wanted something I could, yeah, sit my laptop on if I wanted to. So we'll see how it looks and it goes. I will still probably get a desk for in here, probably in the corner that has all the boxes right now. It's an absolute mess over here. Look, big mess. I thought I'd film me making it anyway. I still haven't got my, these things because they've been out of stock and they came in yesterday, I think. And I can't get them delivered and I don't have big enough car, so I'll have to rely on someone else to come with me. And so far that's been Reese each time I've purchased big stuff from Ikea. This is my new tracksuit. <laughs> Reese and I have the exact same one too, so it's Stranger Things, of course. I'm gonna cry if I open this and it's, gonna, it's like smashed or something. Because <laughs> I've just noticed that there's massive dents in the box everywhere. This was one that wasn't on the shelf, it was out the back. I 
I felt what it looks like already. Why is there so many pieces? C and E. Yay. And then A and B. Oh, no, that went everywhere. This looks more complicated. It's so complicated. <laughs> You helping Miss Flo? Bigger than I was expecting. Wait, surely that's not right. On and flat. Why would anyone want want it to be down though if it's not gonna be flat? They should go flatter than that though. I really, really don't like how that side does not go in properly. <laughs> I've tried unscrew unscrewing it and everything. It's just it just it's just that way. It's this side that's messed up. I even drilled it into a completely different spot and it just won't go in. Uh, <laughs> this side, not so bad. Yeah, that is really annoying. Once I open up the new Cricut, oh, it's gonna go in there. I still have to work out what, what I'm doing with all this. I still haven't changed the lighting in here, I'm sorry. I'm so like yellow. <laughs> anyway, look, nothing in this corner. I compacted all the boxes. And in here, wow, <laughs> I'll probably show you a better shot of those tomorrow in the daylight when it's not like this. Um, currently, this is what it's looking like. I went to Ikea and purchased more of these, so I need to build those tonight. This I'm loving, so I just set up all this. I will show you a better view of that tomorrow though, because again, terrible lighting. And then in this corner, I'm going to have a little desk. I'm hoping for like a sit-stand one. Well, I finally did it. So that's my new scrunchy wall. Uh, now I just need to fill it. I don't know how long that's going to take me. I'm hoping to get it done this month, but we will see. I'll try and do some uh, videos, like challenges on the YouTube because that's the only way that like gives me massive motivation. These ones are going to be the hair claws, I think I already said. I don't even know if I showed you guys this or I think I did. Alright, so I'm just going to show you a really quick little spin around. Um, so I've got the Cricut in here. I really like this. I've used this a few times now because I did the Cricut video. And I've also done something on the weekend which I'll show you guys in a sec. <laughs> but that took like a day and a half. So I didn't even do these until last night. And it took me, I think, an hour and a half maybe. Maybe an hour. It actually didn't take that long. So yeah, I love that that pulls out. It just makes it so much easier to use. I've got my stuff down there. This this is a bit of a mess. I don't know what to do with the tees yet because they don't actually fit on those shelves. As you can see, they're kind of like hanging off. I could fold them differently, but eh. I just think I'll pop them back in the other cupboard that I have. I got rid of most of the boxes from this corner uh, because I put all my jumpers in here. So there's heaps in there. Lou, I'm running low on all the bigger sizes, but I don't think I'm going to get any more in. I just, yeah, it wasn't financially viable for me. I think I lost money on those. But this is what I spent my weekend doing. <laughs> and I labeled almost everything. I actually gave up. Like, I didn't label like this sort of stuff, like the sweets. But yeah, I labeled all of this sort of stuff. And no, I didn't film it, I'm sorry. 
I did label the spice jars. So this is a massive improvement to what it was. Uh, I don't have a photo of what it was, unfortunately. Let's just say I had like sugar and stuff sitting out open in their bags that they come in. So like in their paper bags, it was just open. Didn't even have a clip on or anything. So this is a really big improvement. <laughs> I also got this. So this is a Ronin S. Um, when I had like the ad guy come in, he recommended this one. My camera is a little bit too small for it, just a little bit. And Rhonda is on her way again. <laughs> oh no, I don't know what she's doing. I'm going to look out for the smaller version because this one is a little bit too big. So pretty much I just put my camera on here with like this thing. And when I walk around, it's meant to stabilize the video. We could try it. I don't know. Okay, so I have not balanced this correctly. I'll tell you that around here. But yeah, it pretty much just moves where I move. <laughs> but yeah, it is way, way, way too heavy for me to carry. I think it's it's about two kilos. I know it sounds really light. It sounds so light, but it is not. When you're trying to like carry this, oh my god, it's so heavy. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna drop it. <laughs> But no, it's a pretty pretty cool piece of equipment. But I think it'll be pretty cool to get some like action shots and stuff. Literally all gear and no idea. <laughs> Alright, so I was sent this by Orbit Key. It's for my new studio, obviously. <laughs> I'm getting a desk. So I would show you this with the desk, but I don't have the desk yet. So I thought I'd just do an unboxing. Also, I banged my um, nail with the hammer last night. Oh my God, that hurt. And I still have like three more to do after that. So yeah, that was not fun. So we've got a magnetic cable holder. So that will go... Yeah, it goes on top of the Orbit Key desk mat and it stays there and you can, I guess, move it around and it's magnetic. And this is the desk mat. Okay, so it's that color. Oh, one is like a really nice light one. Oh, they're nice and heavy. This, so you can put your documents under here. So you're like pieces of paper you're working on that you don't want to have on the desk, making it unsightly. And then, yeah, oh, oh, they're very good, strong. A very strong, strong grip. Okay, so I've got two of those, which will work really well. Well, thank you very much, Overkey, for sending me this one and the cable holders. You'll be able to see this in one of my future videos when I do the studio tour. So that probably won't be for a little while because I need to stock that scrunchie wall before I do the studio tour and also get a desk. So I'm... I'm wanting a sit-stand desk, but it also needs to fit in the corner. So I only have like a small space. Oh, so these are magnetic. They're like, I love magnets. <laughs> so you may be thinking, Taylor, what the heck is that? It is a thing that goes like this. So it's like this. So I can have my camera here facing down onto the table or I could probably I'm gonna test it out very soon with the Juki or maybe not soon because I can't bother filming today like besides this video I was gonna start a new one but I was like nah <laughs> um, but yeah I will be using this to film packaging videos and hopefully use it on the Juki as well it should be really good on the Juki um, like that bird's eye sort of view so I'm super excited about this one um, this one is Milly wait am I seeing that upside down we weary up I have no idea. <laughs> no, it looks backwards. Okay, this is what it is if you're interested in it. I don't know. You guys will be exci I'm excited because like, I feel like it's going to up my video game. And once I get the new camera. But yeah, I probably won't get that till maybe like Friday. Because uh, that's when I got this one. It was like two years ago. Can you hear the washing machine in the background? I'm so sorry. It's so loud. It's really annoying. Okay, anyway, I'm going to pop this away. And go back to work. Look what just came in the mail. So this one's actually from Orbit Key as well. Alright, let's have a look. 
Oh, we got lots of things in here. So we got a multi-tool. A PH2 Phillips head. What? Really? That's so cool. Nice. I never knew I needed one until I've got one in my hand. <laughs> That's going to come in so handy, especially when I build things. Or like I need a screw. Like I need screwdrivers all the time. I do have one in here, but it's only, um, I think, a star one. It's not like the flathead. So we got a pocket notebook. They come with tips, heat organizer. Ooh. Oh my god, awesome! It's a portable desk charger. Oh. Oh, this is very cool. Okay. Got all sorts in here. Little compartments. I can take that out too. Oh, and they're movable. They're so cool. When I go to Sydney for like the Vista print thing, this would be perfect to bring with me. Well, thank you very much again, Orbit Key, for sending me all these goodies. So if you want to check them out, I'll link their Instagram down below for your perfect organization solutions. And of course, you'll see them soon once I do a room tour, once everything's in place. Hi guys, it's actually been quite a few weeks since I last jumped on to film a new studio. But I'm getting back on just to end the vlog. So I'm still waiting on my desk. I have a sit-stand desk coming, I hope. It hasn't been shipped yet. It'll be here soon. And I also haven't done the scrunchy wall and challenge yet. I've just been so busy with other things and other personal matters. But I'm hoping to get those done before, like, before mid-September. Um, so, yeah, I started, I think I started the video early August. And now it's the 1st of September. Next week, I'm hoping to, like, really dive deep into making the scrunchies. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Big shout out to Reese for helping me out with all the building and cupboards. Even though I didn't even ask, he just came. I must have looked like I was struggling because he came in just blended a hand. I have so much to talk about and show you guys, but it's going to have to wait until another vlog because obviously so much has happened. I haven't actually really filmed or talked on a vlog for weeks now and there's so much. I've just got so much to tell you, but that can wait for another vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.